Hello students and learners. Welcome to Montech Medical Minds. Thank you for joining the session. Enjoy the session our trainer will take the session ahead. As these below guidelines are very very important in day-to-day -day medical coding job, let's discuss in more detail with examples. Inclusions terms. Excludes 1. Excludes 2. Etiology and Manifestations Inclusions terms, inclusion terms, can be found in tabular list under codes with terms called a different diagnosis or list of conditions mentioned under a code. This meaning the same code will be applicable for all the listed conditions. Review the below example. Look in the tabular list, code E87.20 acidosis, unspecified. As seen in the below image E87.20 contains two terms listed as lactic acidosis NOS and metabolic acidosis NOS. Which means the all the terms of acidosis NOS, lactic acidosis NOS, and metabolic acidosis NOS are assigned to same code E87.20. Also look for main term acidosis in the alphabetic index as seen in the below image. The default code is E87.20 also it follow in the subterms under acidosis, lactic and metabolic assigned to same code E87.20. Excludes 1 and excludes 2. Excludes 1 is pure excludes, both codes, cannot be occurred together. As seen, this example of code F11.2. F11.2 is opioid dependence, having excludes 1, opioid abuse F11.1 and opioid use F11.9. F11.2 is opioid dependence. F11.1 is opioid abuse. F11.9 is opioid use. The above three codes cannot be assigned together and they are excluding each other. Let's elaborate the reason. Use, abuse, dependence are a sequence of conditions the patient develops one is included in another in a progressive manner the condition develops. Meaning, the patient initially use opioid and then at certain stage the patient may become abuse to opioid, hence the opioid use is includes an abuse. Then later phase of continuation of opioid abuse, the patient may become dependence to opioid. So the patient condition now move to the next severe phase that it is dependence. Patient condition was progressive from opioid use to opioid abuse and then opioid dependence. So use, abuse and dependence cannot be coded together as the patient can exist only one phase of the disease process. Excludes 2. In the same condition of opioid dependence F11.2 having excludes 2 of opioid poisoning. When the patient become poisoned due to high intake of opioid, then opioid poisoning codes must be reported followed by dependence. Hence, both opioid poisoning and opioid dependence can be coded together. Coding Guidelines for Etiology and Manifestations This is also called cause and effect relationship between the two conditions. Etiology is a cause and manifestation is effect, as an example. Chronic kidney disease due to hypertension, which means, the diagnosis chronic kidney disease developed due to hypertension. This is also can be stated as hypertensive chronic kidney disease. Here, etiology is hypertension, manifestation is chronic kidney disease. Coding of etiology and manifestations are having two important guidelines to review and must follow for accurate assigned or reporting of codes, they are 1. Code first underlying condition or code first any associated condition or code if applicable. 2. Use additional code. 
These instructional guidelines can be seen in the tabular list at code category or subcategory levels. Let's walk through an example of severe sepsis as seen in the below image. Severe sepsis is a disease process starts from sepsis is an infection the patient develops in the body. Once the sepsis develops in the body, it may become severe called severe sepsis. Severe sepsis also called an organ failure due to sepsis. Disease process happens in three levels. Patient develops sepsis and then sepsis becomes severe call severe sepsis and then due to severe sepsis, the patient develops an organ failure. Look at the relational. Sepsis to severe sepsis to organ failure. Sepsis is an etiology or cause of severe sepsis. Severe sepsis is a manifestation of sepsis. Severe sepsis is an etiology or cause of organ failure and organ failure is a manifestation of severe sepsis. Go to our 65.2 severe sepsis in the tabular list and can be found an instructional note of code first underlying condition listed below as applicable. Also, an instructional note of use additional code can be found at our 65.2 which means an organ dysfunction code to be assigned if any. Another example of code first is a scene in the image. Chronic kidney disease. If chronic kidney disease develops due to or an association of hypertension or diabetes, then the code first associated conditions such as hypertensive or diabetic chronic kidney disease first followed by chronic kidney disease. Code first underlying condition is mandatory instructions. Code first any associated and code first if applicable are optional instructions if applicable. Hello dear learners. Thank you for joining the session. Keep learning with Montech Medical Minds. Our coordinators and educators will be in touch with you for review sessions and doubt clarifications. All the best.